Guys, finally, Pixel Experience based on Android version 11 is now available for Redmi Note 8 users. So if you are Redmi Note 8 user, Kingo user, and were waiting for Android 11 based Pixel Experience, here is the unofficial build available for you. The build is quite smooth. Honestly, using it from past 24 hours, it's honestly quite smooth. Battery is smooth. Almost everything seems to be working. Maybe a little bit of bugs. It's kind of an initial build. So you might expect some little bit of bugs. Those are not major bugs actually. I'm using from some time. Didn't got any major bug. Might be some minor bugs here and there. But it's the first build. Unofficial build. So you can expect it to be much better in the next build. But this build you can install it directly. Which are the things you get here. How the things going on. And how to install. In this video I'm going to show you all these things. Stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end let's get started guys so as expected this one is based on android version 11 you can see here and this is actually have the security patch of 5th of november 2020 the latest security patch going for the things which you get here first of all the default launcher nothing to talk about it is a pixel experience room so of course the pixel launcher is pre-installed you can see here which has the version 11 as expected and the things which you get here is some little bit of things like the notification dots and swipe to access the google app suggestions and allow home screen rotation we already know about these kind of features which you get in the pixel launcher latest version based on android version 11 the best thing is full screen gestures are working smooth here screenshot and select option both are available you can choose a select option so whichever thing you want to try it out just click here copy share and search all these options are available this is kind of really interesting some users are a fan of using a pixel launcher so yes but the thing is this room comes with the pixel uh, pixel apps and all the google apps pre-installed so you don't need to install them manually and if you're looking for a vanilla build there's no build available as a vanilla build so you need to install this build guys the smoothness is quite good even the app opening app closing animations are quite smooth here didn't got any major lags at all after using it from approximately past 24 hours the room is honestly quite smooth and you can simply multitask a lot of things it all depends upon you as i am a user who loves to use multitasking and this room is one of the perfect rooms out there if you're using a Redmi Note 8 and you have used Octavi OS, this room is a very competitor of Octavi OS. Octavi OS is great and this is the new competitor for Octavi OS which is quite great in the terms of performance. It just lacks some customizations, we already know about that, talking about your quick settings and as you can see, it's quite smooth, it's really smooth. I'm using animations 0.5x so if you're looking for the animations, yes I've changed animations but these are not animations of, this is 0.5x animation, you can use them if you want to enhance your device performance and yes it's come with 2x3 we already know about these kind of things that you get in android version 11 wi-fi bluetooth do not disturb more torch etc everything seems to be working i didn't face any major bug we already know we have the turn on battery saver option is available here too mobile data yes working fine here volti wo wi-fi both seems to be working and uh, this is one of the great things out there i didn't got any major issues while using wo wi-fi wi-fi calling or whatever else airplane mode night side and talking about the screen record we have the option to choose the record screen start and screen recording should work definitely as you can see zero one etc and yes this is working fine here let's try if it is working let's try to record screen for some time and then i'll show you if it is working fine or not Guys, we just did the screen recording. Let's find out if it is working fine or not. And as you can see, it's working fine. Screen recording working fine here. So no issues in screen recording. You can use to choose to use screen recording if you want to. Other things seems to be working as I already shown you Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. Everything seems working. Screencast option is available here too. Some things are not tested and this is the initial build. So expect some minor bugs. But as I already told you, no major bugs at all. Talking about the camera, this one is not pre-installed. This one is Gcam Greatness Edition, which right now I've installed it on my device and Gcam is working fine here. I didn't got any issues. You can see I have the option available. This is showing me unable to switch lens because the photo was processing. So just wait for it to process first and then you'll be able to choose the ultra wide angle lens here. As you can see, ultra wide option is available here too. I can choose the ultra wide. I can choose the normal one. I can choose a depth sensor according to my preferences and this is 
one of the greatest things. This is Gcam Greatness Edition, which includes some features like this exposure compensation, save location, zebra settings, and going for the advanced settings, we have some little bit of other options available here too. If you haven't checked it out on my Gcam Greatness Edition review yet, I have a video link in the description. Make sure to check that this Gcam Greatness Edition review, which includes a lot of features, and yes, it is one of the greatest builds out there in the terms of performance and quality in Gcam. Things which you get here, some all the Google apps like the Google files and some other things. And actually the bug which I got till now, let me show you one bug, which is not kind of a bug, but for me, it's kind of a bug. If I go to the magic manager and if I go here and let me show you, I'm using full screen immersive gesture, which is one of my favorite magic modules, especially in Android version 11. Bug which I got till now is if I use the G board, which is called a Google keyboard, let me show you by installing, well, let me show you by applying the G board right now, going to settings and going to system languages and input on screen keyboard. I have G board and these kind of things options available by default. So if I go for this G board, let me show you by applying this G board on my device. Guys, this was the bug which I was talking about. I just applied the G board once again and you will see this spacer behind here again available. I've applied that module and according to that module, not see this space behind this keyboard. This might not be a bug, but this is actually a bug because in other rooms it's working fine here. So what is happening? Why this is happening in pixel experience? I don't know about that, but it's only my preferences if you use this module. So this is the thing which you get here, but that's why this module is working fine. Let me show you because I have applied the swift key keyboard. Let me show you by applying my swift key keyboard once again. So if I go here and if if I try to apply this Gboard Swift key keyboard and if I want to search anything or if I open my keyboard and then you'll see no spacer here which means the keyboard is working fine the model actually working fine here but the Gboard is not compatible with that this is just available in this pixel experience according to my preferences I have some issues with that one so just I have just shared with you the default camera which you get here is as you can see I have not opened it at all because I don't use these default cameras which is called a Snapdragon camera which has of course everything seems to be working but yes i of course use the gcam more than these kind of things other things as i previously shown you almost everything seems to be working here app opening app closing animations are quite smooth the room has no lags so this is one of the perfect builds out there talking about the safe net if it is passed or not if i go for the run test the safety status is passed unfortunately let me show you by applying my data first so that you'll get an idea so now let's try by running the test and it will show you the safety and status is passed because of that module. I have applied that module. As you can see, Redmi Note 8, the status is passed. This is the thing which I get here, which is one of the perfect things in my device. I am able to use all the banking apps. So no issues in using any banking apps at all. So you can also use banking apps. How I just applied the safety net, apply, how the safety net status is passed. Magic Skide Props Config option is available. You can see here, this is the model which I have applied and also I've chosen the Magic Skide option by going into settings. And I have a video on this particular thing. If you don't know how to do these kind of things, I have a video on that, that how you can pass the safe net if it is not passing for you. So you can go and check it out. Let's try out some features which you get here and Pixel Experience does not come with any features at all. And like that, as expected, no features at all available in Pixel Experience settings. Network and internet, as I previously told you, the Wi Wo Wi Fi Volti, both of the things are working, but there's no icon on the status bar. So, these are the things we already know. Apps and notification has the notification history option available as expected. Battery has beautiful things, battery percentage. My battery stats are normal here, but this battery is working fine here. I'm not saying it's perfect. Octavi OS is far more great than this build if you compare it with the battery backup, but this build is good also. You will get easily approximately of eight to nine hours of screen on time, but in Octavio you'll get more than that. So if you want to compare your battery backup with the Octavio OS, Octavio OS definitely beat this Pixel Experience build. But unfortunately, that is that has a lot of customizations which sometimes I don't use. And Pixel Experience, honestly, my favorite room. So that's why I'll use definitely this instead of Octavio OS if I want to use as a daily driver. Other things, display has some things which includes the styles and wallpapers. Of course, styles and wallpapers include some things. And let me show you one thing which I noticed first whenever I booted this build first of first time styles and wallpapers if you go for this live wallpapers if if you choose a live wallpaper and click on ok and now home screen and lock screen now 
this look at this these lags and i don't know why but yes if you apply the live wallpaper this has a bug by default whenever you boot your device for the first time you'll see this live wallpaper so first thing which you need to do is just open your styles and wallpapers app from here and change your wallpaper at all suddenly right time exactly at that time you need to change your wallpaper okay so this is the thing which you need to focus on other things seems to be working here no major bugs here styles and wallpapers etc working fine here going for the things which you get here let me show you by going into settings and you'll see you need to apply other wallpapers to make these kind of things work sound storage privacy location everything seems to be working Security has a fingerprint, but no face lock, no app lock, but that is not a major issue for all the users. Accessibility, digital well-being, Google Xiaomi parts include some features which includes the USB fast charge, which is of course one of my favorite features because I use this feature first uh, on my Redmi Note 9 Pro, which is Cortana. So this is one of my favorite features. Other things seems to be same. Everything seems to be normal here. Has gestures and everything. No status bar customizations, no buttons customizations, but hope we will get in other builds very soon. Now let's take a look at some installation things, how to install this build. First of all, let me tell you which thing you need in your device. So just open your device storage where you have, and I have downloaded this called Pixel Experience Gingo 11.0 unofficial version. So just boot into custom recovery and let's, I'll get back to you soon. So guys, we are booted into custom recovery. First of all, notice that I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. You can use TWRP or whatever recovery you want to choose, but I will definitely recommend you if you use the Orange Fox custom recovery, that would be better. So I'm using Orange Fox custom recovery. The thing which you need is Pixel Experience Gingo unofficial. You can also use this disable DM Verity Force encrypted file. If you're decrypted, then you'll need this file. And if you're encrypted, you might need to format your data. In my case, I am encrypted, so I will format my data first of all just go here dalby catch system vendor data these five things which you need to select swipe to wipe it will not take that much time it will wipe it will wipe all your data and whatever else and it's better if you take full backup of all of your data because in case something goes wrong you must have a backup for that so this one is the file which we need to install right now pixel experience gingo 11.0 29 11 2020 gingo unofficial beta version so this is the unofficial version this is a beta version so you need to keep this thing in mind okay so just wait for the stable build if you're not interested in this kind of thing this is stable this is quite stable i didn't got any major bugs honestly the things which i got till now i already shown you so these are not major bugs but yes if you still want to wait for the official build then you can wait because official build is not out there yet for this device if it will out in if it will out soon i'll try to make a review on that one also but until then this one is quite good you can install this let's wait for it to let's wait for this installation to finish and then you just need to format data and reboot i'll show you wait so guys, as you can see, it's successful, 101, it's successful. So as I previously told you that if you're decrypted, then you can simply use this zip file to boot. And if you're encrypted like me, just go here like this, go format data and type YES to confirm. And as I previously said, it has the Google Apps pre-installed. So you don't need to install Google Apps manually. So after formatting data, what you need to do is you need to just reboot your device once. And after clicking on reboot, you'll see your Redmi logo here. And then you'll see the Google boot animation wait let me show you that how the boot animation will look alike so then it will be booted into system and then you'll be able to use this build and as you can see this is the google animation which i was talking about this was all from today's video i hope you like this i hope you got to know that which other things you get here how's the review how's the installation and maybe this was all from today's video thanks for watching and goodbye